Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to The Pain Train. Continuing on with my video game environment series, here's my top 5 industrial and factory stages and areas in video games. Hopefully this is apparent from the title, but this is my list of favorites. This is heavily influenced by my own subjectiveness and biases, but I will try to explain as thoroughly as I can why each area appeals to me. Also, I will be upfront with the fact that I am a Nintendo fanboy, and as such, most entries are going to be from those games. However, I am limiting it to one entry per series for each video, otherwise certain series would dominate these rankings. I'm going to touch on aesthetics, level design, and music. Without any further ado, let's go! Coming in at number 5 is Factory Tour from Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. This stage is one of the most memorable levels I remember from Kirby 64 due to its unique setting and tone compared to most of the levels in the game. Stage 3 was a mix of a mall and toy factory, but this area is full on dangerous and mean production level, and I remember dying to this level more than any other part of the game. This factory includes hosts of conveyor belts, tubes with animal subjects, a hammer area, and a cruel crushing area. There are several transition areas where Kirby will have to ascend hallways while avoiding enemies, which, like most stages, features an enormous variety that Kirby can steal abilities from, but notably, sawyers, turbites, shotsos, and bulldozing robots. The mini-boss of this stage is a giant burnus in the magma chamber room, which you would think that, given the creativity of this game, could find a more factory-themed antagonist, but you can't win them. The music is definitely darker-themed, yet still upbeat, mimicking sounds of machinery and clanging metal in the background. I do enjoy this stage from the step up in challenge compared to the rest of the game, but sometimes those one hit kills can really get under your skin. But with the varied visuals and great theming, this level is a success. At number 4 is Grunty Industries from Banjo-Tooie. This enormous stage is the most true to form factory in the list. Each floor is littered with different areas that could be considered their own manufacturer plant in their own right, such as the waste disposal plant, the repair depot, the packing room, the electromagnet chamber, the boiler plant, and the air conditioning plant. Having this many varied areas help the stage suffer less from all the mechanical visuals that can bore an experience. Enemies are mostly mechanical and worker based, including boltoids, governors, and clangs. The music is slow, methodical, and somber, like the mood of a worker who puts 12 hours a day into sitting in front of a conveyor. Not my personal favorite, but appropriate given the setting. This stage has an issue though, it's way too big. The creators had extreme attention to detail and filled the space with complicated puzzles and many alternate paths, but when you have an area this huge where every inch is filled with content, you're going to be here a long time. Thankfully, most of the jiggy tasks are enjoyable, and there's even a pretty tough boss named Weldar that's pretty memorable to me. Making the stage a bit smaller or putting a better map in might have made this stage top the list. Next at number 3 is Spark Mandrill stage from Mega Man X. This power plant stage is all about electricity. There are currents running everywhere, lots of enemies attack with voltage, and Spark Mandrill himself would be an awesome electric Pokemon if this were a different game. But forget all that, forget the classic SNES mechanical stage visuals, what we're really here to talk about is the music. Someone was going insane on the electric guitar for this track. It's fast paced, melodic, and a perfect fit for the energy of this stage. Enemies include Hotarion, Gunvolts, and the mini boss, Thunderslimer, which can be quite a pain. Mark Mandrill himself can be a tough matchup because of how fast he can attack and how hard he can hit. Unfortunately for him, he has an exploit where Chill Penguin's power can freeze him over and over, and once he's defeated, the power plant is saved. In second place is TikTok Clock from Super Mario 64. When I was 5 years old, playing Mario 64 at my babysitter's house, there were two stages that we could never beat. Rainbow Ride, and this giant pit of a clock factory. This stage has the inner workings of gears, lifts, and conveyors. And the coolest part of this stage is that it ties into being a clock interior by changing the speed of all the moving parts of the stage depending on what time it is when you enter the clock. In one instance, everything is even stopped completely. This kept the stage constantly fresh and challenging because some parts were made easier and some made harder at each speed. The music is the slider music, which is always a great time and fits the chaos of this stage. Enemies are sparse, but include a thwomp, karanpa balls, 
heave hose, and bow bombs. This stage is all over a giant pit which can really add challenge when platforms are moving and flipping quickly, but part of my love for this stage was being able to overcome what I could not as a little kid. Gold medal goes to Chemical Plant Zone from Sonic 2. Everything about this level screams nostalgia to me. I'm not sure how this plant is supposed to work as it just seems to be a lot of loops and tubes above a giant vat of purple chemicals, but I'm sure they know what they're doing. This stage, even more so than Emerald Hill, shows you just how fast Sonic can get moving in this game. Act 1 won't deal with the chemicals a lot, but Act 2 dunks you in. And this was my, and I'm sure many others, first experience with the drown encounter. That music is anxiety incarnate, and I can't tell you how many times I panicked and fell farther and ended up drowning mostly because the music freaked me out. The real music for this stage is boisterous. It starts repetitively and winds into an absolute blitz of Sega Genesis synth. Enemies for this stage include Grabbers, Spinies, and Eggman himself, who kinda just tries to drop chemicals on you? I don't know. Pretty dumb. I always have an absolute blast replaying this level, and drowning and crushing deaths aside, this is one of my favorite stages of any theme and my number one factory stage. So what did you think of the list? Who did I leave off? Who shouldn't be on here? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please drop a like, subscribe, follow on various social media in the description below. Keep an eye out for more biome rankings in the future. And as always, have a blessed day.